So we have a solid 25 minutes before this becomes unbearable. <laughs> <sighs> is this our cold <laughs> open? Dang it. I hate that this is our cold open. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Barely Bearable Besties. I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca. All right, so you may recognize us from some older podcasts like The Smiling Rainbow Unicorn of Doom. And uh, popcorn with Sabrina and Bianca. And we were both on the podcast Soy, Soy Milk. Milk. Um, all of mo pretty much all of those have disbanded now, so we are now um, on our own. <laughs> we're alone now. It's just us. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> so we yes, decided. You are. <laughs> so we decided to start this podcast. Uh, we've had this in the works for pretty much the entire summer. Uh, we're finally in the same state and the same area code yep. that we can execute it and execute it well. This podcast also went through like 20 different names. Right. Like, no, I don't have a name. No, name. <laughs> no but we should at some point on the show go through but all they're, of them. But they're all mine and they're all bad. They're not all yours. Some of them are mine. You just didn't put them on the list. <laughs> you <laughs> Listen, none of them were good enough to put on the list. Not yours. I just meant in general. Not all of them were pretty bad, except for Barely Bearable Besties. Um, barely now on bearable. Spotify. <laughs> But, or well, we'll be on Spotify. Eventually. Um, we're in the future. Or you're in the future. We're, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the way we sort of figured we'd structure this podcast is do a little quicker. We're, we're typically used to, on our old podcast, doing like an hour, hour, 25 minutes. Um, we're probably not going to do that this time. Um, I just have ADHD. <laughs> but. Not me, I'm great. Yeah, no, you're, she's fine. But um, we're planning on sort of doing like a shorter quicker ones just to make it so we can be more consistent with them because if, if we do like an hour long one we might not be able to get that out as quickly as we'd like to definitely not because we have to turn the air conditioning off in my room and it gets really hot in here that's that, not why that is certainly a reason <laughs> that's a big reason actually. it's a factor it's, it's a big factor it's going to be a big factor are you already hot yes i am y'all she's never hot <laughs> like we'll like um we used to work at a radio station. We'd be in the radio station, be like at 75, and she'd be like, hey, um, I would shiver listen, can you, guys, can you guys turn it up a little bit, please? I would, I would get in trouble all the time because people would go in and it would be set. Hello. <laughs> and it would be set to like a really high temperature. Uh-huh. Okay, so what but would. in my defense. No, no, okay, well, so what would happen okay. is she would walk in, get cold, because I would always set it to like. 68 to 70. Were we the only two people that touched the thermostat? Everyone else was too afraid to. Okay. I mean, we listen, we had the power, okay? <laughs> but, um... I got the power. We were, tight. we were sort of in charge <laughs> when we were there. But, um... So Joel and I would set it to, like, 68 or 70. Um, and then she'd walk in, and she, um... We can get this it's, fact out of the way, too. It's like a slider thing, the, the, the yeah. air conditioning. And... It's taller than yeah. me. Well, so let's yeah. get this out of the way. The, uh, she's 4'11". 4'11". I'm 6'4". There's <laughs> a little bit of a difference. So I could see what numbers were on the, the dial. <laughs> it's above my head. And I she... didn't think about it. I would just slide it this way so it would get hotter. Right. And apparently and I, I came in once. I came in once and it was literally like... I felt like I was on fire and I looked and it had been set to like 84 or something like that. So not only did you didn't just, oh, I just, I just I'm going to move it a little bit. You literally pushed <laughs> it as almost as far as it can go. Yeah. I'm, and then I would get nice and warm. It felt great. <laughs> you didn't, you weren't even in there though. When I, I was in there for a little while. Before it got to its full potential of 80, because you know it had to go up a full 20 degrees. Well, yeah, because that it takes was so time. cold, so you got to push it all the way to make it go faster, because that's how that works. Yep, that's exactly how it works. And then you know, of course, ideally you turn it back down to the ideal temperature. But you did it. <laughs> you just class. left, right? <laughs> I was gonna come back. So but now we're here. Yeah, now we're here, and it's. it's I, I thought it was say a time. No, it doesn't say. I don't know. No, it doesn't oh. say what temperature it is. No, because that's where I turned it off at. Right, but. I hope that book caught on. Was a good one. I think it did. <gasps> Yay! So yours didn't. Dang I was it. talking over it. Dang it! Um, for the listeners at home, we just—I just popped my neck. <laughs> um, so we just plan on hanging out um, for 
25, 30 minutes every single, every, I was about to say every <laughs> single week. I need to be careful with that. Uh, we'll try every single week and, yeah, and when we fail at that, we'll, uh, we'll say bye weekly. We'll make it up to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll do two videos because that's how, <laughs> we'll do an hour long video in the, we're going to do a live stream. I don't know. We're already going, I feel like much longer than we intended on, so. That's the problem, though. You and I can talk. Oh, yeah. No, we can talk. And I think it's one of those things, like, we're not... It's not a hard line. Like, it's not a hard yeah. time. We're just going to look and be like, oh, my God, we've been going for 30-something minutes. Yeah, okay, but... we should probably end it now instead of, like, set a timer. <laughs> the timer just goes or, off I mean, and you're done. I mean, when we used to work at the radio station, we literally had a time that you had to leave by That's because, true. depending on which one... So we just have so much freedom Yeah, here. we are so much... We are so much free, we, so, which means we can say words like... No, I'm no, <laughs> no. It's also, we're going to try to keep it PG-13. PG ten, PG eleven, <laughs> like 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 not quite PG thirteen, but like not quite PG. Yeah, I'll say PG thirteen. I think that's fine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like PG eleven though. PG eleven's pretty great. <laughs> that's that's the name of our podcast. Actually, yeah. is <laughs> we'll put it screw, on the screw list. Screw bar- barely bearable besties. We do. We'll put it on. The it's list. a working title. Um, <laughs> so if we just switch it up, we can. Sw- I mean, I'm not a. It's okay. No, I'm I not just... married to any any. We are not married. Thing, you know, I'm I'm very single. Um, <laughs> I'm not married to anything like about this show. We can change stuff up. Um, maybe not the title. We can change. Like, we can change it up. The format, what we talk about. Um, we may. I would really like it if the co-stars stayed the same. Um, one will. of them will. Be all right. Yes. Deal. <laughs> Which, hey, listen, if things go south, <laughs> you get two different podcasts to listen to. <laughs> it's in the audience's hands now, so vote. One of us stays. <laughs> vote now on your phones. <laughs> Text 1 800. What? 1 800, barely. What, barely was the, what was the American? Did you ever watch American Idol? Yes. Right when they used to do it. Do they still do the text in thing? I'm Surely sure they not, do. right? What? I'm sure they is do. Is that a thing that people do? Yeah. Do people watch American Idol? I mean, I don't think it's on anymore, is it? I think it is. No. I know the voice is no, on. No, it is on because it's Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and... Katy Perry was uh, on it like 10 years ago. No, she's on it now. Well, she was on it. And Maybe she was a guest is star. Is it Luke Bryan? It's a country singer. Okay. I don't listen to a bunch of current right. country. I think it's Luke Bryan, though. I think it's Luke Bryan, Lionel Richie, and Katy Perry. Those are the judges. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Voice. I don't know who those judges are anymore. They changed too much. I thought Lionel Rich- Richie was on The Voice. No, Lionel. Uh, Lionel Richie was on a different country's The Voice for a while. <laughs> That's so weird. I, I think. I, I, I might think, be wrong. I think the exactly. singing shows, I'm glad, are sort of getting out of fashion, though. because Are they? I don't think people... Like, The Masked Singer is... Isn't it literally celebrities dressed up as... The Masked Singer is dumb, and I don't get it. Really? Except for when Kermit the Frog was on. I think oh, that was fantastic. Well, okay, so, like... um. Well, with with those shows, it's like American Idol and The Voice had that one gimmick. The Voice's first year was amazing. Sure, I was I was in. Yeah, no, they're they're all great. Who was it? It Was CeeLo Green? CeeLo Green, uh, Christina Aguilera, Adam Levine, Blake Shelton. Shelton. Yep. Yeah. And then when I I I stopped watching after Adam Levine left, I think he was the first person to leave. Yes. Um, No, 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 no. Uh, CeeLo was first to leave. Was he? He was my favorite one. Yeah, and then Christina Aguilera. Adam Levine stayed a long time. Did it? Okay. He recently left, I think. He was my least favorite person on it. Really? I, I never cared for Maroon 5. Oh, you just lost us a fan. I'm sorry, my Sorry, mom. Adam. No, <laughs> no, Coach Aaron, my mom. I'm sorry. Because so you should know, we refer to Adam Levine as my stepdad. <laughs> we have my whole life because my, my he's my mom's celebrity crush. Oh, no, I, so, I, I, hold on a second. I did not say he wasn't handsome. Okay, I just okay, said okay. I don't ca- particularly care for his music. What? It's not my type of music. Okay. You know what type of music I like, and Adam Levine is not it. I know. He's not. He's not techno country punk. <laughs> we should start that band. <laughs> what would we call it? Techno country punk. Techno country punk. Wow. I don't know. You, you're the one who listens to those three things. I don't listen to either of those three things. What's the other? What's the third thing? What? Either of those three things. That's not correct English. <laughs> Wait, any of those three things. Though, right. Though. Yeah. I, was, mm. I wasn't trying to correct you be a jerk. I thought you meant no. that you like one of those things, and I was wondering what no, one no, was. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I like them. I don't, like, listen to right. them. Right. You should listen to punk music. I'm sure it's it's your vibe. It's my vibe. <laughs> I mean. The vibe of punk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're cool enough for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so what we plan on doing for these sorts of... Oh, wait, can I say one more thing on that okay. topic? Uh, on America's... Like no, country? no. On... <laughs> America's Got Talent has gotten out of hand. It's still on? Yes. Then this season is what, ridiculous. I don't, I don't get the point of it. So it's Me so the, is the gimmick like the judges are sitting there, and if all three of them click no, then you're done. Yes. And then after you win, I guess, or after you get past that, it's a whole. Well, whole so thing. I have a problem with. It, it, I can be corrected if I am wrong, but I believe the winner, at least back in the day, was supposed to get however much money, like a million dollars or something stupid, mm-hmm. and then also a um, not a seat, a uh, like 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 a show in Vegas. Oh. Like, they were supposed to have a show for a year in Vegas mm-hmm. and get a million dollars. That was, like, the thing. Right. So, I don't understand when they have these, like, six-year-olds coming on to sing. It's like, what are you supposed to do? You're going to sing uh, for Congratulations, Vegas? kid. You are obligated to go to Vegas now. That doesn't make sense to me. Or, like, they uh, have... Have you ever been to Vegas? I'm sure I have. Yes, I have. Okay. But, but not, like, really. Like, I haven't, like, done... Like, I, I can't hours. imagine that's a place you'd want to live for too long. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, no. I don't think I'm a... I mean... I'd get eaten alive. I, I have no interest in going to Vegas either. Like, I, I'm it's just, that's not a place that I really want to go to. Yeah. Like, of, all, of the big I touristy think... cities, like, I've, I've been to New York. I love New York. I've never been to L.A. You lived in L.A. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like L.A. I, I wouldn't want to live in L.A. permanently, which mm-hmm. is funny because I I did it for five summers. For five summers, I lived in L.A. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. I yeah. loved it there. I think it's a fun city. Um, for, yeah. But, but... But I don't know. I think as I've gotten older, I've changed, and I've kind of, I've I don't want to live in a big city. That, that, that's oh, too. Oh, okay. There's too much going on. I I want to want to live in a smaller city, but not too small. Like the the city we live in is tiny. Sure. I wouldn't want to live here. Right. But my my city. At Shout your out to Bloomington, Indiana. Bloomington. No. <laughs> no. No. That word will not well, be said no, on this for podcast. Sure. It it. I'm gonna like try to make it like per- come in you know like i'm gonna just subtly like oh i was this, there's this cat and she was per <laughs> and i just like do it like that um oh, okay i don't yeah i've never been to la i I've, i would want to go to la i i think i'm sunburned I, you um, do look sunburned. dang it cool um oh, from jogging yeah <laughs> i am um, i'm clearly the the like human phys- peak of physical peak human um <laughs> And listen, my legs the physical are physical peak of humans. Yeah, my my, <laughs> like it or not, man, this is what the peak physical form looks like. If you're looking at him, Thomas, barely bearable besties. Now on Spotify. <laughs> no, but um, I, I don't know. It's one of those things. Like I, I look at cities and I'm like, I would probably move there, but not for too long. Yeah. Um, L. A. Seems like it'd be a cool place to live for a little bit. Right. Um, New York. I don't really have any interest in living in New York, but like DC, I would love to move to DC for like five or six years. When I was a kid, um, a psychic told me that I was gonna live in New York at some point in my life, and that hasn't happened yet. Right. So you're waiting on it. So I, I mean, I don't know when, but at some point in my life, I'm gonna live in. New you're gonna York. live in. You're gonna live in New York. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun city. It's um, I, as as a, I, I, the thing I love about those cities is the public transportation. Yes. But. As a that's single cool. woman, I can't imagine, you know, like that's just seems, I, I can understand why some people wouldn't like it for that public transportation for that reason. Yes, yeah, so it was you just... Were atta- you were attacked on the subway in, in LA, times. weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. No, the, uh, one time my mom and I were followed home by a right. crazy man who was uh, screaming obscenities at me uh, because I was wearing a skirt. Not like... I mean... How dare you? Yeah, I, I I was wearing a skirt with purple tights that had like cats on them. They were. Weren't, so I was gonna say, weren't you in like middle school? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, how how dare I, I? I was thirteen, and he screamed at us and mm. followed us all the way home. But then we couldn't go home because then he wouldn't know where we lived, right. so we had to keep walking. That, yeah, that was a fun one. Mm. Um, but then the the more interesting one is when a man threw a leg at us. On the threw a leg at you. Yes. A man, we were leaning against the wall, like, with one leg up on the wall, and a guy started yelling at us because he thought we were mocking him, because apparently he only had one leg, and we didn't know well, that. Well, apparently he threw it at you. So yeah, like. so, so then he got mad, and he took his leg off, and he chucked it at us and was screaming, and my mom and I were like, Hur! and then we ran and got on the subway and uh, on Did the metro. Did you take it? No. What's he going to do, chase after you? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so yeah. So uh, so. So living in LA was shit. an experience. <laughs> LA, not for single women <laughs> <laughs> who are offensive to paraplegics. <laughs> um, so, okay. I did love LA though. I want to be very clear. I've got friends in LA, and you guys are awesome, and I miss you. Hello. Shout out to LA people. Yep. <laughs> so um, one of the things we do plan on doing on this show is sort of um, talking about some, we're going to look, we're going to peruse the internet every week and find like a weird story or a funny story, either off of Reddit, the news, something like that. Um, and we'll talk about it like that. So yeah. this week um, we're going to do two things that are going to be special. So it? this, yes. So this episode is probably going to be longer than most of our episodes already. Well, we don't know. Cause the thing Thomas is that you and I will get off topic. So. No, for sure. Um, I, we, we, we just said, 25 to 30 and but i'm guessing it's more like gonna be 35 to 45 yeah probably <laughs> but um so what we're gonna do i don't like that at all i think you should put it in your lap well, but i'm trying to think i think that works that so works. we have found um the only website where i get my news oh yeah buzz the most reliable yes buzzfeed so we looked at the- <laughs> i just kicked over my water bottle we looked at the we tried to find the strangest BuzzFeed quizzes because BuzzFeed is super famous for their quizzes, right? So they have, you know, like, what's your, um, what type of bread are you? That's the joke that's thrown around because that was on the website for a while and that was a popular one. Well, what type one. of bread were you? Um, pumpernickel. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You're so pumpernickel. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's a stupid question. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I can't think of whatever, like, what other type of bread could I be, you know? Yeah. Uh, you say I... white bread. <laughs> um, um, okay, can it be what, what like... I, I think I think you could be a nice lemon loaf. <laughs> that somehow offends me more. I don't. That sounds so offensive. <laughs> that, I don't know towards who, but that sounds super offensive to me. You don't think you could be all a lemon right, loaf? lemon loaf. <laughs> <laughs> like like you know we've got that Starbucks their lemon and they've got the little move guy, lemon you know? loaf. <laughs> what oh, about the pumpkin that. spice loaf? Mm. I love pumpkin spice. It's not pumpkin spice though. It's just pumpkin. Pumpkin bread. loaf, right? Yeah. And I don't. I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're a pumpkin. Bread. Dang. So it's a hard life out here, guys. <laughs> Tag yourself in the comments. Are you a pumpkin loaf See, or a lemon I was thinking that loaf? I was more pumpkin loaf. You don't like pumpkin. I love pumpkin. You don't like pumpkin spice. I don't like coffee. coffee. Oh. You think you thought the Listen, pumpkin was a the pumpkin problem? spice frappuccino though? That's basically a milkshake. But there's coffee in it. Not really though. Just like there's there's hazelnuts and Nutella. It's like there, but like <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> okay. Well, so, so, yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. So, so we've got... First... Uh, did you want to do this first? Because this one wasn't a quiz. This one is us talking about food opinions, basically. And I think that we can get a lot of mileage out of that. Do you need to charge your laptop? <laughs> yes. Um, it's got 15. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. So... Can't find the charger. I thought this... We, we basically just looked at the ones that had the funniest... Uh, titles and this one is I've so you can play along at home um, I've rounded up 10 controversial food questions and I need (laughs) you to answer them for me yeah only for you jelly donut girl (laughs) only for you I'm fully convinced no one actually likes kale she says do you like they, kale? I, like, I was about to say they like we don't know their gender but their name is jelly donut girl (laughs) um I don't care for kale I don't think anybody eats kale by itself just like I mean, in the salad, but that's different. I think there are, like, kale people, though. Like, like health food people yeah. who like, eat a lot of kale. I, I, it's my least favorite of, like, leafy green stuff, you know? Like, I love spinach. <laughs> it's your least favorite of the leafy greens? Yeah. Spinach Call, is my favorite I leafy love green. Yeah, but you don't like spinach dip. Was it you that I was talking to that doesn't like spinach dip? Are we going to do this every time? What? <laughs> I say I like this, and you say, but you didn't like that with, when it was like this. Yes. Okay, what about spinach? Do you do you just eat spinach leaves? Oh, you no, yeah, you talk. We talked about this. Yeah, I I eat just spinach, mm-hmm. regular spinach. Okay, because I'm strong to the finish. I eat oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this is this podcast is not going to last. Long. I'm calling no. it right now. Um, first, how do you feel about red velvet cake? I wonder how you feel about red velvet cake. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like a really cheesy, like, I, how do you feel about red velvet cake, Thomas? Let us know. <laughs> um, isn't red velvet cake literally just chocolate with like red food dye in it? 
people say that, and they're <laughs> probably right, <laughs> but I don't agree. Okay. Because it tastes like red velvet. It tastes like. It's got to have cake. something more in it. No, then, but people it? really do say that it's just like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably like with. chocolate cake with more sugar or something. I thought they like said that. it was vanilla cake with red dye. Or is it vanilla? I don't know. I think it's chocolate. I don't know, but. But I like it. I like it, but it's not, it's not one of those now, things that I'm going to go out of my way to get. Now, the red velvet cake always has the uh, cream, I almost said cheese cream, um, the cream cheese frosting. Yes. How do you feel about the cream cheese frosting? Okay, unpopular opinion. I don't really like cake. I know, I forgot. I don't really like cake. I forgot. And so, like, ever, if I ever eat a cake, you'll probably see me, like, avoid the frosting as much as possible. Like, if you see me eat a slice of cake like that one right there, I'm probably going to, like, eat everything but the outer like side <laughs> hmm. i don't like frosting at all like not cream cheese i don't like it i don't like just whipped cream i don't like but cool whip miracle whip <laughs> Tiny zip. Miracle whip. you haven't seen that episode of the office yet but there's no i cream. haven't seen i've seen a single episode of the office we, two wait no we only watched one we only watched one but i didn't know that was the only one you've ever seen the only one fully i've ever seen yeah okay so change your life Thoughts? What the heck is that? <laughs> Thoughts on figgy pudding. Figgy pudding. I mean, now, I, well, of course, the song. Right. But that picture looks vile. It does. I, that looks awful. <laughs> so that's what I was gonna say. I feel like I've let everyone down because I haven't <clears throat> had figgy pudding. And, and you're I'm like a, Miss Christmas. I am Miss Christmas, and I haven't ever tried figgy pudding. Th- but that doesn't look good no, to me doesn't. at all. So it I'm gonna doesn't. say no. You gross. Okay, gingerbread. gingerbread. I. <laughs> Love gingerbread. You do. I love gingerbread. I like it. How do you feel? It's different, but how do you feel about ginger snaps? I don't know if I've had ginger snaps. It's literally just like a gingerbread, but harder and spicier. Mm, I might not love it. Not spicier, but like it has more cinnamon. Yeah, in it. no, I know what you mean. I might not love it, but I'm I I'm glad we both like. Ugh! Do you like your mac and cheese with ketchup? I don't think you like mac and cheese at all. I do. Oh, right. No, you like the Velveeta. Craft. You like Velveeta. That's right. Um, oh, I just said that on the podcast. Velveeta. <laughs> Sponsored by Velveeta. No. Yeah, listen, are you saying if Velveeta didn't come to us and said, like, hey, we'll sponsor you, you wouldn't, like, cry? I would be so happy. Right? <laughs> um, but so if you're looking to sponsor us, go to our sponsor. But we're about to. Or our Instagram, barely, barely, best. But we're about to lose our sponsorship right now. Because because I don't put ketchup on it, but I do put soy sauce on my macaroni and cheese. Oh. Velveeta, if you're listening, I don't put anything. Because I know <laughs> that Velveeta mac and cheese is perfect just the way it is. But you know, right out of the box. Don't even have to cook it. <laughs> but you know what I do sometimes? Thanks, Velveeta, for sponsoring this. <laughs> okay, so I just got an air fryer, and I want to like learn how to cook stuff, and Thomas like said he would help me. <laughs> no, hold on. But, I, but it occurred to me that the only things I've ever actually cooked are noodles. So I can right. boil water, and that's it. I've never cooked anything else or really tried. Well, most things you aren't going to boil. No, I know. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a chef. I, oh, listen, yeah. I made my own fried chicken in an air fryer, and it was pretty good. All right, you all. I made rice once. I also heard that you made really good cauliflower. I, my, I am known for my um, fried cauliflower. Uh-huh. Um, but, 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 I don't put ketchup on my mac and cheese. Oh, but, but what was I going to say? I don't remember what I was going to say now. Never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Would you still eat fries covered in ranch? Okay, do you like fries at all? I love fries. Okay. Well, I like fries. And you put them in fries ketchup. Fries are all right. Yeah. I I, th- I think fries are all right. Those fries I think look great. Those fries look really good. I don't like it. I'm not about ranch though. Okay, so let's click it. Oh, what do you want? What do you want to click? What is it? I think it's just the whole thing. I don't think it has an end result, so it doesn't matter. What no, we I know, put in but right, would you, you like know what I want? You know what I pick? Okay. So, uh, for the people at home, I love ranch. Like I put ranch on a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't, like mac and cheese. No, like um, I love ranch a lot. Like I love ranch. You can stop saying I it. I love stop ranch. ranch. Gross. You're gross. I'm drinking once. Oh, stop. No, okay. No, All right. But I, I love ranch a lot. It's literally just like buttermilk and herbs. What's they're not. <laughs> okay. So the next one is watermelon. Watermelon? Question mark? <laughs> I'm offended that this is on here. Do people dislike watermelon? Do like, here's the thing. Like if I'm, I am very 
lukewarm on watermelon. I will eat it, and I'm like, this is good, but I don't like. I don't love it. I love it. I can't imagine you eating that though and being like, no, Ew. gross. Yeah. Like that's absurd. That's to me. weird. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um. No, I love watermelon. I actually drinking like watermelon water is one of my favorite things. Ooh, I love watermelon sound good. water. Um. Is soggy cereal S- still good? Is soggy st- cereal still good? Do you eat cereal? <laughs> do you do? You don't have yours with milk, though. I do. Oh, you have yours with, with almond, almond milk. milk. I, I eat mine with almond milk as well. Yes, go on. Um, Wait, that should be cereal. louder for the, for the mic. Ready? Go. Oh, that was still bad. I, th- there you go. Boom. <laughs> There's just You can see on the waveforms <laughs> that we've clapped three times. I think they heard every single one. Oh, darn. <laughs> um, darn. Um, I'll say... No. <laughs> like, how, like, when you think soggy, what do you mean? Like, you left it, you went and did something for five minutes and came back? Or are you talking, like... I'm gonna say I'll eat it. Like, I'm not gonna not eat it. Yeah. But I don't... I'm not like, oh my god, soggy cereal? Yes, sir. It, it depends <laughs> oh, on... Baby. It depends on the amount of, of soggy the cereal is. Yes. Because, because a little bit, I actually like. Okay. But a lot... No, for sure. Like if there's, the cereal has become mush. There's yeah, there's though. some cereals that I think are better. Like like, do you like Fruit Loops? Not a big Fruit Loops. Me person. neither, but I think that they're fine soggier because they it takes sense. them a while to get soggy. That makes sense. Are you, do you like Life cereal? Never had it. Okay, that is the type of cereal that gets really soggy really quickly, and when it gets soggy, it's really gross. I really like Crave cereal. That's my favorite. I just, what? I I tried it for the first time over the summer and I hated it. Really? That's my favorite I did not cereal. like it at all. Wait, which cho- one did you try? The chocolate filled ones? The normal ones? Okay. Well, so some have the chocolate outside and I don't like No, no, just the, just the normal ones. Wow, I just didn't like favorite. it. The chocolate just didn't taste that good to me. Hmm. Well, okay. See, I'm not much of a chocolate person. Why don't you just get like Captain Crunch then? It's the same thing just without chocolate in the middle of it. Well, no, because I like Crave. I'm not complaining oh, about Crave. Oh, it's my favorite. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I also really <laughs> like Reese's Puffs. I love Reese's Puffs. Reese's That's my favorite Puffs. cereal. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, wait. So, eat them up, eat them up. Okay, does anyone really like kale? I think we already talked about it. Not really. Not really. Yeah. Uh, what? Bananas are good, right? Okay, so Uh I don't love bananas. All right. I feel like I've. I don't. You've had bananas before, though. Yeah, but I don't go of all the fruits. I don't go out of my way to eat them. I used to go very out of my way to eat them. You would go bananas. So, um, <laughs> anyways, I've for, I've for competed bananas. I've competed in gymnastics my entire life. Right. And uh, when I was a kid, I don't know how it got in my head. Probably my dad said it, but mm-hmm. I I was told uh, if I had a banana before a competition, I would stay on the beam. <laughs> and I was so that's be- genius. Before actually. before a competition, I'd eat a banana and then I'd stay on the beam and be like, yes. That's great. <laughs> so, I I like bananas. And now, oh. Well, it's all right. Now I eat bananas. I I, I chop them up and I put uh, peanut butter and Nutella Ooh, okay. on every other one. How do you feel about the um, the like celery with peanut butter on? I don't like celery. It's the, that's one of the, that's almost almost like watermelon to me though. It doesn't taste no, like much at all. No, it's hard to eat. Not it's not the oh, taste. Oh, it's, it's like I don't like the little strings either. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's not no, the I, taste. You it's know the, what? I'm fine with that. It's actually. the strings, and I actually I. I I actually tried it for the first time this summer. I've never right. had celery before. Oh, okay. And and it was just it's fine. it was hard to eat. Mushrooms, what do we think? I like mushrooms a lot. I like mushrooms. It's a, it's a new development in my life, but I like them. That's yeah. I mean, ooh. That was it. Oh, that was it. All right. All right. <laughs> We're so doing this now way that you longer. Know, yeah, now that you Dude, we ooh. can make this two parts. <laughs> <laughs> that requires a lot of editing. I don't know, dude. I mean, it's going to be the same amount of editing either way. That's true. <laughs> it would just be part one, part okay, two. Okay, so. Give the people more. So we'll just record as long as it takes and then we'll. Might as well, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, your not? computer has a, like. Well, a... I can I can actually plug it in. Look at that. Why wasn't it plugged in before? Uh, Because I had to unplug it to get it to here. And uh, then I just didn't okay, plug okay. it back in. So we're good. We're All good. All right. Okay, Um, this was one of the ones on the list or that one? Which one do you want to do? <laughs> I think the, that, that one's funny. Okay. So this one, they say. Uh, we know your height based on your dessert opinions. Which... Okay, so let's do you first then. Okay, so so do you want to read the thing and then me pick the thing? Or yes. Do you want to okay. All right. Now, All what's right. funny about this though is is I chose this one because we have very differing heights. 
Yes, and so, very differing dessert opinions. So and very different. Work. Yeah, you know what we could do? Hold on, wait a second. We'll do both of us at the same time. How? We'll have two. We'll have two. So we'll we'll click both of our answers. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so which dessert? This is for you. Which of these desserts is the best? Cake, ice cream, cookies, candy, pie, or pastries? I'm gonna say cake. Um, because ice cream is too cold, so that's not my answer. I don't really like chocolate chip cookies, which are the main cookies. Right. Um, so I feel like when you say cookies, a lot of the times so okay. we're talking about that. Pie is so broad that it could be too much. Pastries is too broad, and candy is too broad. So I'm going to say cake. Okay. Right. I am going to say ice cream. I don't like cake. Cookies are great, but I feel like the distinction between bad cookies and good cookies is so vast. Yeah. Like, I like... I don't like Chips Ahoy at all. Yeah, but me like either. But like homemade oh. chocolate chip cookies or like Chick-fil-A cookies. Oh my God. Um, candies, fine. I don't care for pie. Pastries is too broad. I don't know. Too broad, yeah. Get a better... No, Hold on. Who... It... no let's put them on blast. Who <laughs> made this with Joanna Bournes? Oh, man. Pastries? Come on now, Joanna. All right. So, Thomas, uh, what's the best chocolate dessert? Cake, Ooh. ice cream, brownies, pudding, cookies, or I don't like chocolate? Okay, a cake, no. I don't like cake. Sorry. Um, brownies, I don't love brownies. I just don't. No. Pudding, if you put pudding as your favorite dessert, you're a psychopath. I don't know why. Well, it's not asking your favorite desserts. And what's your favorite the, chocolate what's the dessert. Chocolate but like, dessert? Come, if you like chocolate and you like chocolate pudding, chocolate pudding should not be your favorite That's dessert. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I'll say cookies. cookies. I think chocolate great. chip cookies are great. I don't. When I get ice I'm, cream, I don't normally get um, chocolate ice cream. I get vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna say brownies, um, even though I'm I kind of am saying cake, but I'm saying brownies because <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking brownies. Okay. But there's uh there's someone I know who makes literally the best. I don't know if it's a cake or brownie, but it's it's the best dessert I've ever sure. had. Like I want it at my wedding. It's so good. Ooh. Um, uh, so yeah, you know who you are. Shout out. Shout out to the brownie girl. Her <laughs> person. They're so good. Okay, your turn. Fruit dessert? Ooh. Hmm. <clears throat> this is your quiz. I know, but you read it. Don't oh, take what's your best, what's the best fruit dessert? Pie, sorbet, pastry with fruit filling, fruit flavored cake, uh, fruit flavored ice cream, or I don't like fruit stuff. Okay, so I was going to say pie. Because, like, apple pie is really sure. good, and, and uh, there are other fruits mm-hmm. that are good. I forgot every fruit. Peach is good. Um, right. Uh, but then they put up sorbet, and th- mm. there's some good fruit sorbets. Right. Lemon sorbet. That's good stuff. Right. So I'm going to go with sorbet. But pastry with fruit filling, does that just mean that could be a donut? Like jelly filling or something? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm still going to say sorbet. Oh, um, okay. I don't care for pie that much. Yeah. I'm not much. I'm not much of a dessert person at all. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh-oh. Um, I know my answer. Ooh. Pick a cake: chocolate, vanilla, red velvet, carrot, rainbow confetti, or angel food. Uh, might be a stupid question. Mm-hmm. What's angel food cake? It's my answer. Look it up. Look it up. Angel food cake is the best. Oh my! I've heard, no, I've heard of it. I'm just trying to remember. It's like because if it was pound cake, I'd be all over. It's that. kind of like it. pound cake. Oh, it's so good. That's my answer too. Yeah, okay, no. cool. I, I was trying. I couldn't think of it. Um, yeah, no. My my answer for sure is Angel Food Cake. My nana loves it, and I love it too. Ooh, pick a pie. Right, this is yours. Yeah, this is mine. Pick a pie: apple pie, cherry pie, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, blueberry pie, or strawberry rhubarb. I'm going pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going pumpkin. Okay. I don't like apple pie. I don't care for apple pie. It's probably like my most un American trait besides the fact that I don't like sweet tea. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that. You don't like sweet tea? No, I actually dislike. Like, at, like it's not like just cake. Like, oh, I don't care for it. Like, I genuinely dislike sweet tea. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I hope we'd have a podcast about Cherry that. Cherry is fine. Blueberry pie is fine. I don't know what strawberry rhubarb is. I've never had it. It's a strawberry and rhubarb. What the heck is a rhubarb? <laughs> it's rhubarb. It's the... Is know? this some L.A. thing that I'm not privy to? No, it's <laughs> really not. Okay, so here's the thing. Again, I don't really care for pie mm-hmm. that much. Mm-hmm. 
Pecan pie, I've never had a pecan pie that tasted any different from any other type of, like, of that pie. Like, it all tastes pretty uniform to me. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. Pumpkin pie, I've had one that I hated, and then one that was the greatest thing I've ever had in my yeah. entire life. So I'm going to go pumpkin pie. All right. Um, I'll you say, know who you are, even though you probably don't remember that. You know, I had a teacher that made us pumpkin pie once, and it was great. I'll say, I won't uh, shout him out. He wouldn't want me to. But. I, in general, would say pecans, except I would always say pecan pie. Really? Okay. I wouldn't say pecan pie. Pe- pecan. pecan pie. That sounds too what weird. If it, what, what do you think about people who say pecan? <laughs> <laughs> people don't of, say that. There's no way. I'm going to start. Oh, shoot. I clicked pecan. Pumpkin. There you go. All right. Okay. Pick, Pick a creamy dessert. Creamy Cheesecake, dessert. tiramisu, chocolate mousse, gelato, creme brulee, or <laughs> creme brulee. flan. Ooh. Flan. Okay. Flan. <laughs> I don't like cheesecake, which we just, which we we decided we last week. We were such a big debate. We about decided this. last week that cheesecake is a pie because Alton Brown yeah. said so. Uh, so we actually. Um, we actually disproved our friend who went to culinary school because he said, no, cheesecake's a cake. And then we were like, well, we think it's a pie. Yeah. And then we looked it up and Alton Brown, who's like, I don't think he's a chef, but he's like a TV he, host. He, he's, no, he's a chef. Is he a chef? Yeah. Okay. But he said, Alton Brown said it's a pie. Yeah. And he said, get on with your life and get over it. Get over it. <laughs> um, I don't like cheesecake at all. Brown. I do not like cheesecake. Um... Except for at the Cheesecake Factory, where, like, you have to get one. You have to, but, but like, whether I, when you we like went, it or not, you have to get one. But when we went to the Cheesecake Factory for our friend's birthday party, we had cheesecake, and I didn't really care for it. Yeah. Um, tiramisu is fine. Uh, chocolate mousse I've never had. It's good. I like gelato a lot. I don't love flan. I know I should, but I don't. Um, Why should you? Creme brulee I like a lot. But I'm gonna say gelato. Okay, good, because I'm gonna say creme brulee. <laughs> really? If we, had, we would have had three in a row the same, but, and that would be annoying. Creme brulee is just good. It's, it's just so really good. good. <laughs> okay, and finally, we're at the end. Hey. Pick a candy. Ooh. Go ahead. You wanna read them? Pick a candy. Candy bar. Gummies. Sour gummies. Chocolate candy <laughs> in pieces. What? <laughs> Chocolate candy in pieces. <laughs> Hard candy or caramel. All right. I just kicked the mic stand. <laughs> the chair? The chair. Yeah, we have it in a chair. Um, Only the best all right, for so, you guys out there. So this is hard Barely because... Barely besties on Instagram and Spotify. <laughs> this is hard because candy bar is so vague. Like that's... I don't think so. I think I think you know exactly what it means. Like, it could be chocolate, yes, but it's like Snickers, Twix. Right, and they're all different. Okay. So, so that's hard. Gummies... I guess that's, I guess I can go with gummies. Um, sour gummies, are we talking Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, I think Sour Patch Kids would be a sour gummy. But here's the thing, though. I don't like sour things. I don't like sour gummies. Then you're probably not going to pick that but one. But I like Sour Patch Kids. Really? Those are my favorites, yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, but overall, if we're talking genres, you know, it's like, my favorite song is a, like, is could be a country song. That doesn't mean my favorite genre of music is that's country fair, music. That's fair, yeah. My favorite um, is, so it's not country music, it's actually... <laughs> Classic rock. Uh, caramel. I don't like. Paradise by the Dashboard I don't like the like. Yeah, Jim's Diamond. <laughs> I don't like um, like like those like the really chewy caramels. But if we're talking Werthers, I'm in. that would be hard candy, though, wouldn't it? That would be hard candy. Right. <sighs> so do you see? We're the spending crossroads? too much time on this stupid dessert. <laughs> so we haven't I'm even either... gotten to the story of the week. I think that we should save these for next for next time and just go to the story of the week after this. Okay, one. deal. Okay, so I'm gonna go hard candy or gummies. Um, we've I'm, gone for forty minutes already. <laughs> I told you it's gonna be longer. At least forty minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna click hard candy. Whoa, hold on, wait. I don't want to see the answer. I already okay. saw it, but yeah. You okay. did? Um, I'm gonna go gummies. I don't like. I don't love. You're five ten. I'm five ten, and you are. Five four. Five four. Okay. They're not. They're not that far off. No, yeah, I mean, okay, so because the reminder, five it was off. Th- they, they were gonna find our height based on our dessert opinions. Yes, I'm four eleven. It said I'm five. Okay, so you're five inches off. Um, no, sorry, four inches off. Um, <laughs> I no, five. What? I no, you're right. <laughs> I am six four, and yeah. it said five ten. So that's about it's like five inches off. So that's within awesome. reason. They yeah. did great. That's great. I'm impressed, BuzzFeed. You Good did job, it again, Joanna. Whatever your name was. All right. So we're you. We're not gonna see the name. Uh, you want to do? We want to do a story. Yeah, or? let's do the story of the week. 
and then we'll we'll leave you all alone. I have two stories though. <gasps> I had a long story and a shorter story. Oh, okay, we we'll, we'll see how long the long story is first. Okay. All right. You're, oh, you wrote it down? I did. I did. I wrote it down. Okay. Um, is this gonna die? Oh, boom! I die. We'll be okay. Hold on. Don't read my story. I'm no, I was trying to check the battery. Okay. So it's 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 fine. I'm trying to read. It's fine. Um, it's a fairly long story. You may interject any time. All right. Um, oh, shout I plan out, to. Shout out to uh, Elise Myers on TikTok. I love you so much. If you see this, I think you're wonderful. Um, Should we post our stuff on TikTok? Like little clips? <laughs> right? Oh, no. You know what? That's, I mean, if we want to get a following, the kids these days. That's a great days, way. Yeah, no, that's that's how The kids every these podcast days gets. be ticking and talking all the time. <laughs> we don't need to be on TikTok. <laughs> What the heck? Is that a dance? Um, maybe That's like ten years ago, Grandma, but like not. <laughs> That's one of the dances. They go. Ah, ah. I don't. Th- I haven't seen that. It dance was the either. Renegade. No, do not. <laughs> that is a like three or four year old dance. Oh my <laughs> god. That's the only one I know. <laughs> you work with children. <laughs> I know. I actively you are, don't you work are, on TikTok. You are a okay. Gymnastics coach for children. All right. So. You should know this, t- 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 and you should know that you should never say the word ticking and talking. <laughs> like a clock. Tickin and Please talking. just. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so Elise Myers, here we go. Ticking and talking. She, she says, all right, I was on a dating app, and this man messages me and says, I like your face. Let's get some food. I'm like, I love food. Are you my soulmate? And <laughs> he says. This is how you get murdered, by the way. Oh, it is. Um, what? <laughs> How's she writing this then? Hold on. He says, meet me at my house and I will drive us to the restaurant together. Why Why did we not just meet there? I have no idea. I drive 45 minutes to his house. He's standing outside. Do you remember what TikTok this was from? Or what, what Reddit this was from? No, it's from Elise Myers or TikTok. Oh, thing. I thought you said you got you got one from I have Reddit. the other one. Oh, the other Reddit. ones. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Um. So... Uh, I drive 45 minutes to his house. He's standing outside. He walks up to my car and says, I've lost my keys. Can you drive us there? She says, should I have left him right there and gone home? Yes. Did I? Absolutely not. Oh, my God. So he gets it. Elise Myers, you're stupid. (laughs) So I hope that's her name. Oh, my gosh. We love you, Elise Myers. Follow Um, us on on Instagram. (laughs) Barely 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 Besties on Instagram. So so he gets in, uh, and he starts giving me turn-by-turn directions. He could have been leading me to an abandoned warehouse, and I still would have been like, left at this stop sign? Okay. <laughs> um, we end up at Taco Bell, which Ooh. is fine. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm like, dine-in or drive through And he says drive through So I think, great, he's got a plan. Um, we, we get to the speaker, and he leans over me and no. says, I would like 100 hard shell tacos. Thank you. We get to the window. What? A, what? <laughs> we get to the window, and he quickly pats his pockets. No. And I'm like, no. Did you forget your wallet? And he says, yeah. And I'm like, do you need me to pay? And Elise, he says, yeah. Elise. And I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. Why <laughs> so, did you drive away? So I buy the 100 tacos. And That's I'm like, like $100. <laughs> and I'm like, where to next? Elise. And he Come says, on now. He says, back to my house. No! And I was like... Well, I guess like, I mean, hey, take him home at this point. And I was like, okay. I wonder what 100 soft tacos would look like, or hard shell tacos oh would gosh. look like in a bag. You know, how many bags is that? She said they're like boxes. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> they're all cold. <laughs> but she says, and I they're was like... Frozen. And I was like, okay, this is happening. I'm committed to this now. And so... We, it's never too late <laughs> to leave, by the way. We get to his house. We walk in. His dad is on the couch. Oh, good God. I'm like... He lives with his dad. That's fine. Side note, uh, the hoops I am teleporting through to convince myself that this decision that I have made is okay or is just wild. Um, I, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. And so she says, we walk past his dad and into the kitchen. He just starts dumping the boxes of tacos, emptying them, just releasing them onto the table. Um, he puts two chairs at the table, sits down, sits down, and screams at the top of his lungs, Let's feast! <laughs> I like him. Never mind. I'm sorry, Elisa. Everything I said, no, this is on, genius. No, hold on, hold on, Except for the fact that he made you pay for it. That's bizarre. So, so, she says, I just calmly unwrap my taco. 
and take a bite of it. No. We are eating hard shell tacos in complete silence. Oh. You can hear both of us chewing no. in absolute <laughs> chaos. That would be your worst nightmare. I would die. <laughs> I would die. Uh, <laughs> the dad walks up. No, I meant up. going to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> no, they used to have great empanadas. They don't have Ooh, them anymore. They had empanadas? Yeah, they had like these like, they were so good. They, they're they not there anymore. Anyways, <laughs> the dad walks up, grabs a taco. Sure, there's a hundred of them. We have so many to spare. Sure. He's eating over us just like standing. Standing? Oh yeah. no. He does not sit, just stands next I don't to the like table. I this. <laughs> crunches, mouth full, looks at me and goes... No. Do you want to see my studio? No! <laughs> and I was like, I have never wanted to see anything less in my entire life. Uh, it was it was that moment that I decided the date was completely over or else I was going to be killed. Yeah. Like, 100%. Then I just, I just like, collect all of the tacos because I paid for them. Uh, I walk... I walk out with boxes of tacos in my purse. How big is your purse? <laughs> I look back and I'm like, thank you for this experience. You will never hear from me again. So that's the worst first date I've ever been on. Okay. What about the dad saying, do you want to see my studio? That was the final straw? Yeah. What's the studio? What's the the final straw should have been, hey, I'd like a hundred tacos, please. Well, it was too late because he's in your car. You can't just That's dump true. Him. No, yeah, you can't just do that. No. He's in her car. Yeah, okay. What's she supposed to do? But that's from her TikTok and I love her so much. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I hope you have better luck. She's married next time. now. Oh good. No, she's this not. guy? That's no, how that's no. how this ends. No, she's happily married. What an um, alternate timeline she does see the studio and then she gets married. It was just like to a normal dad? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, son. <laughs> Listen. No, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. But, like... This is our studio, right? This is our studio. This is our studio, which is your bedroom. <laughs> and wow. Just a corner of your bedroom. Yeah. So... I put butterflies on the wall. You did, and they cannot see them. I know, but I see them. But... Aren't they cute? So you could... S- so, like... No, I'm trying to think. When I when we used to work at the radio station, I never said like I never used that to like impress people. I was like, hey, okay, you want to come? See, you want to come see the? You want to come see my wanna, studio? You want to come see my studio? No. <laughs> well, never mind. I mean, I've 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 gone on a date with less information, so I mean, this one, I, I, I'm not gonna tell the graveyard story, but yeah. I one of my first. A first date I had was at a graveyard, so yeah, I'm just cool like that. I've been on, uh, I I've been on dates with information uh, that I didn't have, as We're in I didn't this. know it was a date. Yeah, but, because... but we should talk about that on another. Episode. Okay, okay, all right, <laughs> that's all another right. episode. No, for sure. All right, we have time for one more. Yeah, this this one is uh, m- more sweet and funny. It's shorter. Um, so it says, one day in college, the teacher, uh, this is like the synopsis, but the teacher had stapled the sheets, the answer sheets to the back of every test by mistake. That's what happened. Okay. How does that? I don't know. How does it happen? Okay. I don't know. That's what happened. So it says, a few minutes after passing the test around, his phone rang the professor and he stepped out, stepped out of the room. Mm. Um, everyone had noticed that the answer sheet, everyone had noticed the answer sheet and we decided that we would all use it and tear it off after. Sure. Uh, hopefully, As you should. hopefully he would never notice. Uh, if my students are watching, by the way, I'm not encouraging cheating. No, of I'm a not. teacher, by the way. Of course not. <laughs> it's okay. It's um, fine. <laughs> so you're so, great. Anyways, they Extra say. Extra credit. Ten points. <laughs> they say. So I checked each of the answers, and they were all correct except for the last <clears> one. <throat> um, we were to draw a flow chart for a process. I checked the answer sheet, no. and it said answers will vary. No. <laughs> I drew my flow chart, oh, tore off God. the answer sheet, and walked to the front of the podium to turn the test in. Oh, no, I don't like where this I got to the podium, I had to know. I needed to see what everyone else had drawn for their flow chart. Answers will vary was written on every single test. No. Everyone had written answers will vary. And she says, I don't remember what the teacher did about oh, it. Oh, well, this story sucks then. I know, but <laughs> I still you, thought it was great. They should have made up something. <laughs> well, we can make up something. Okay, what, so the you're teacher... You're the teacher. What yeah, happens? okay, so I walk in and I see the answers will vary. Um, one, I'm going to be very disappointed because not only are you cheating, but you're cheating in such a stupid, stupid. way that I am going to just think I failed you on that alone. Yeah. Like, I have failed you as a teacher because I didn't even teach you how to... I didn't even encourage you to cheat in, an, in a smart <laughs> way. Yeah. Um, how I would proceed 
is of course, I mean... Redo the test, right? As a, as a professor or teacher. Probably. Because um, I wouldn't feel good if I just gave everyone a zero. Except for the one person. Because... Oh, no, she gets 100. She gets to pass. But she still used the answer she used. Yeah, but we, I, would, I would have no way to know that, though, you know? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. And, and at least she's smart enough to do But what I think happened mm-hmm. is that he walks in and he see any error. Well, I guess he, everyone's done. Yeah. And he's and one he sees a pile of um <laughs> answer she, of ripped answer sheets in the trash can. Do you think they all just put them right there? I think that they sound like they're stupid they anyway. Sound stupid. You're right. <laughs> um, and then he he's like, oh, that's peculiar. But he he just sees a pile of sheets. He probably doesn't yeah. look at them yet. Yeah. And then he's like, huh. And then he looks at the test, and he's like, all right, how'd you guys think you did? And they're like, oh, we did great, Mr. Whatever. And then he starts looking at him because he's like, all right, well, you guys do your homework. Here's your homework. Well, if you guys like... do that, and I'm going to grade these tests. Mm, right? Yeah. And so they're doing their little independent work, and he is looking at these tests, and he sees answers may vary. Answer may vary. <laughs> answers may Answer. And he's getting really discouraged. Yeah. Because he's thinking, wow, my kids are stupid. <laughs> but then right at the bottom of the stack, He's starting to lose all hope. He's mm-hmm. starting to wonder if all those years in college, his graduate, his MED, his um, his certifications, if all that, if this is worth it. You know, I could just work at um, Food Lion and probably make about the same. Uh, <laughs> and oh. so he's starting to look at them, and, and and then he sees the one at the end. He he has a flowchart. <laughs> By God, Melanie did it. <laughs> And then all his faith in humanity is restored, right? Because then right. he's like, okay, we're good. Everything's okay. It's going to be okay. And then he goes home and he cries <laughs> because that's what I do <laughs> all the time. Ditto. <laughs> and then, listen, folks, it's okay to cry, okay? We're here for you. I'm not going to, like, I, I just, I just have it, like, certain in my head that it stopped videoing. So we're just going to oh, yeah, looking sure. at it and it's not videoing. You guys, There's no great. way. There's listen, no way. Listen, here's the thing. All of the all of the students, whether you're mine or whether you're just out in the ethos somewhere, if you're listening to us, you're probably pretty smart. You see, oh, like yeah. an, an educated group of, of folks, sure. right there. Absolutely. Um, but here's the thing: we haven't even started building our audience yet. So, what if our audience, what if our target demographic, or not our target, mm-hmm. but like the demographic that this reaches, is stupid people? <laughs> what are we gonna do about that? Well, I, are you saying you don't want them to listen to the show? No, I'm saying listen because here's the thing: even if whether you're stupid. Whether you wrote answers may vary. Whether you made a flowchart. Whether you're just like going along in the little flowchart that is life. Um, <laughs> preach. <laughs> we listen. We're accepting you. We want you here. You're all welcome here. We're glad you're here. I, I hope that that camera's off. So I'm just staring. At I know. <laughs> we're trying to. I don't know if I mentioned this before. We're trying to record a video. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see how that works, and if yeah. it doesn't, uh, then it doesn't. Yeah. But, um, well, thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. And, and <laughs> did you have... ever give your little head cannon on what he did when he got back? I mean, I think he. Okay, if he's that dumb of a teacher, what if he just marks the answers This, this wrong? seems more like a just. This was a copy error. Like, this was a, just he printed out some stuff, and it was either messed up, or he didn't know that he also printed out the answer sheet at the end. Yeah. Because, you know, you can, like, choose which sheets you answer. He's like, he was in a hurry, you know, and he, okay. he's sitting there, like, thinking, oh, my God, I had to pay for this paper. And he's, and so he starts printing them out, you know? Yeah. Um, so this, this, he probably was printing out bulk orders of stuff, and you All know right. how it is. Well, um, I think he probably made them retake the test, but I like the idea of maybe he didn't. And was like, this was on me. I messed up. But what so, if he just gave them all zeros? How would you feel about that? Well, I think that's not a good idea. I agree. No. I don't think zeros. Because zero it's is, his fault, too. Pedagogically, I don't think zeros are a good idea at all. Um, I don't know why. I'm, I've done that several times. I never do that. <laughs> because it's there. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening at home, don't give zeros. Give 25s. I want to, like, gym face at the camera. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we would do it the same time so we could take a picture. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's a podcast. We gotta, we gotta talk yeah, really. About we're just doing voices. There's a <laughs> on shoot. the wavelength. There's just a long flat line. All right. So is that it for today? I think that's it for today because we went way longer than we meant to. We did. But we it? probably will do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So so we got more. We have funny quizzes to take. We have funny stories to tell. 
we're going to talk about us and and more about uh uh th- th- things just the great flow chart of life that <laughs> the is the flow chart that is life <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about here yeah so thank you guys so much for listening to the first ever episode of barely bearable besties, besties. Once again, before we go, I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca, and before we leave, can we shout out Megan? Yeah, so if you're looking on our Instagram right now, or our YouTube, or our Spotify, and you notice that there's a spe- uh, uh, um, special logo, um, that was me, I was about to say written, that was drawn <laughs> by our good friend Megan Hig- Higginbotham. Uh, she is out there working at Disney World right now. So Disney, if you're looking for a graphic artist, just look at just look at our logo, and you think, that looks pretty great. Is that because what they're called? I don't know. It sounds wrong. Uh, if you, Disney, if you're looking for an artist, Megan Higginbotham. She's amazing, and we love you so much. Thank you for making our logo. It's perfect. I think it looks just like us. It does look. It, like. it looks I make so that. Great. I make that you facial make that expression face. all the time. Especially to me. Oh yeah, no. I think that's your. That's and you your guys will understand face. that later on. I yeah. Promise. So thank you, Megan, and thank you to our listeners or viewers or whatever's. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to come up with a funny name for you guys. Yeah. Just you wait. Yeah. Just are they wait. are they part of the besties or are, are they are they I don't think they've earned that yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, also we haven't posted a video yet. Oh, so. that's true. <laughs> we could be One talking. One step at a time. <laughs> Yeah. We're not. We're not there yet. I think. Can't jump we're, right to besties. <laughs> You're moving real fast. I don't know. <laughs> well, All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. You guys have a great rest of your week wherever you are in the big wide world. The flow chart. Okay. <laughs> we're working on it, guys. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.